So there's your six. Right, that's so six. So we got... That's six. Almost. I think so. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah, so it'll start. So that's kind of a cool way to then integrate it into some other. It's interesting. Um... You know, cool key changes in there stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, now there's a couple of different ways you can do six too. You can do like. So there's three different ways you got. Then you can do one on your index. And then try to mix the three together, you know. And go insane. Random. Yeah, it's pretty pretty crazy, but it's fun stuff to do. I mean it's it's, it's fun to make you know. your bass player play. Yes, that's always fun. <laughs> I wanted to go back to something you said a minute ago, Carl. You were talking about the chords, mm -hmm. and you're just saying just by moving one finger or move whatever. one note. Yeah, moving it. So, do you have a, a methodology behind it beyond that? Like well, when I do, go ahead. I was going to say because I, I do a lot of that myself, but I'm using like fretboard visualization to look at a particular chord that I already know, and then I'll take and look at each string and look at all the notes surrounding each finger and try all the different options just by moving them around. Uh, is that kind of what you're, what you're doing on that? Well, no. Okay. <laughs> it's less erudite, right? The, the way you're talking about it is, is a very valid musical way of doing it. Uh, right. Because you're actually finding a, a predetermined goal. Like right. if you're here and you're like making an A minor and you go, okay, I'm going to move one finger. Okay, I moved one finger. Now that gave me a nine. And if I move one more finger, well, now I'm getting, you know, I'm getting the, the fuck is this B note in an A chord? Well, that's a nine down here too. Right? Okay, so now we're thinking about things and we're understanding what the fuck we're doing. Right? You move a finger, you understand this relationship, you understand the new chord you're making. What I'm talking about is throw all that fucking shit out the fucking no. window, right? <laughs> you take your hand, yep. right, and you start somewhere, anywhere, doesn't really matter. In fact, if you don't know where it is, that actually is more fun. Yeah. All right, so if I'm here, and like, you don't even have to look at it, just move something anywhere, and then see what you get you know it's not always about the book matter of fact it shouldn't ever be about the book that should be hindsight you know when you're creating you should just be creating something music you're not you know you know it, a lot of times it uh, it'll, it'll be a it'll be a look looking back that i can go oh it's this because you know but i'm not thinking about scales and theory when i'm working on a riff or something like that you know what i mean if i'm just being creative and letting the notes fall sometimes not, that that actually stunts me a riff uh, on the new Nile record, like I did something, I had to call you and go, wait a minute, why does this even work? It shouldn't work, right? but it does. What the fuck's going on? And and we spent like an hour on it and you figured it out and yeah, explained why. We did some of that on your, for your solo album mm -hmm. with the, those chords. Yeah, with the fourth chords and turning them into pentatonics. That was yeah. a genius lesson. There's uh, there a lot of innovative stuff in there. I mean, there's, you know, it's a pretty cool process. Carl, I was just testing out your your 
concept with the chords and I came up with a couple cool chords. So check it out. I took a chord that I already knew, right? Just like you said, start with something you know, right? And then that's lovely. It seems so rad so much lately. It's like such an He's outdated trying to be word. cool, man. No, it's rad, dude. No. <laughs> so I used to associate this chord only with lydium. You know, because it's add nine sharp eleven. But it actually works with Dorian sharp four. that arpeggiating like yeah, do, do the arpeggiating pattern you did while moving your pinky i'm not really sure what i was doing i mean i'll figure it out but <laughs> just, just kind of playing the, let's see what's the tone so i get on the wrong patch no it's just me I was doing that with Zach the other day, but I was doing it with uh, augmented triads. But... Remember that thing, Zach? Uh, I remember. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> Bastard. I remember. Dude, yeah, even funny. like the thing from, uh, you know, the. Oh, yeah. Uh, from Dark Matter. So, I don't it know. sounded great. Just try and drop in that finger. So, see, it, yeah, it, move a finger. Right, right, right. That's what I was doing. Move a finger. Because I wouldn't normally go to major seventh after this. I'd go to minor, but that moves down perfectly. Now you got another minor at nine. That's in, that's cool shit. I have to remember that. It's a major seven. Then that becomes uh, that's the fifth of that becomes an F sharp minor at nine. Yeah, so that note's kind of funky, but that's a A seven. some cool stuff in there. <laughs> 